So in this example today, we're going to be going over related rates. And we're going to be using this problem. It's a little more harder than the other ones I posted. And it says, a road perpendicular to, the, to a highway leads to a farmhouse located one mile away. An automobile travels past the farmhouse at a speed of 60 miles per hour. How fast is the distance between the automobile and the farmhouse increasing when the automobile is 3 miles past the intersection of the highway and the road? So, I'm just going to draw a picture real quick. This little house. There's the highway. The car shoots past it. Here's the car. Not that good of a drawing. It's going 60 miles per hour. And this is, the farmhouse is one mile away from that. And then, will it ask be that distance between the farmhouse and the car? Actually, let's just let L the distance between the farmhouse and the car, and then S the distance between the farmhouse, the intersection from the har farmhouse road and the car. So we know S squared plus 1 squared is equal to L squared. <laughs> that's, how we, that's what's going to start us off on this one. So let's just take a step back. So. We got a farmhouse that's one mile away from where the highway, and this is where the highway and the, f the road to the farmhouse intersect. And this distance right here is the distance between the farmhouse and the car. And we know the car is going 60 miles per hour. So this forms a triangle, a right triangle to be exact. So. We want to know how fast the distance between the automobile and the farmhouse is increasing when the automobile is three miles past the intersection of the highway and the road. So how far this is increasing when there's three miles right when the car is three miles past this intersection right here. So let's just take the derivative of this. S squared plus one equals L squared. We'll make that L a little more obvious. So this is 2s ds dt equals 2l dl dt. So we got two variables. And we want to know how fast this distance is increasing when this distance is equal to when this distance is three miles apart. So we're going to have to solve for this because this is L. So now what we're going to do is we're going to move this 2L to the other side. And the 2L and the DL DT are being multiplied, so you divide by 2L. So it's going to be DL DT is equal to 2s ds dt all over 2l and these two l's are two these two twos are going to cancel out so it's going to leave us with dl dt is equal to s over l ds dt and now we got our equation to where we can find out when how much this distance is increasing when this distance equals three miles. So what I mean by that exactly is we can find out how fast the distance between the car and the farmhouse is increasing when the distance between the car and where the farm the road to the farmhouse and the highway 
intersects is equal to 3 miles. So now, all we have to do is just plug it in. So we know S is equal to 3 miles, because that's how far it said it is. 3 miles past the intersection of the highway. So this is 3 miles. And the car is traveling at 60 miles. So DS is equal to 60 miles per hour. And we know that L, so we take a look back at what we did. We said 1 squared plus S squared is equal to L squared. L is equal to the square root of 1 squared plus s squared. So L is equal to the square root of 1 plus 3 squared because s is equal to 3. So now we're just going to write this all out. So we're just going to erase this. Our equations right here we're going to let that guide us. So, dl dt is equal to s over l, and l is equal to 1 squared plus 3 squared. Now, let's make that look better. 3 over the square root of 1 squared plus 3 squared times dl dt, or ds dt, sorry. It's not ds, it's ds dt. That's 60 miles per hour, so that's times 60. And this is going to equal 180 all over the square root of 10. So then, I'm just going to erase this stuff since we already plugged it all in. We're going to multiply by the square root of 10. Because square roots on the, in the denominator are just, it's just ugly. We don't ever want to do that in math. It's just red flags all over the place to me. So, this is going to be... 18 times the square root of 10, which is going to equal, well, let's just, talk, let me just show you what I did right there. So it's going to be 180 times the square root of 10 all over 10. 180 divided by 10 is 18, which is going to equal 18 times the square root of 10, which is going to be approximately, I say it's approximately because it's not exact. 56.92 miles per hour. Oops, that fell off. Let's just write that in. 56.92 miles per hour. And that's the answer. So if you want to, we can go back through how I got this answer. So, let's do that. Let's have a quick review, because I know it's a lot, and it's pretty, it's kind of complicated to some, and when you first see it, it's kind of scary. So we got a triangle right here, right? So it's 1 squared plus S squared equals L squared. We want to take the we want to find the rate of change, how fast this is changing when the distance between these two points is three miles per hour. So we're gonna take the derivative of all this. And that's going to equal two S D S D T, which is equal to two L. DL, 
dt, and this is L, and we want to find how fast this is changing when this equal, when the distance between these two points is 3. So we have to sol solve for dl dt. So it's going to be 2s ds dt over 2l. These two these two twos cancel out. dl dt is equal to all of this. So dl dt is equal to s over l times ds dt. And that's our equation that we're going to work with. So then what we did, remember, she started saying which is what. So we got all these variables. So s is this distance right here, which is 3, which is given to us in the thing. It's going three when it's 3 miles past this, when this is 3 miles. And we know l because, well, we could just go back to what we did. 1 squared plus s squared is equal to l squared. l is equal to the square root of 1 squared plus s squared. And then if we just plug that in, l is going, l is going to be equal to 1 squared plus 3 squared because it's s squared and we said s is equal to 3 miles per hour. Then DSDT, the car is going at a rate of 60 miles per hour. So DSDT is equal to 60 miles per hour. So that's all we need. All we have to do is just plug it in. So DL DT is equal to S3 times 60 all over the square root of 1 squared plus 3 squared. That equals 180 over the square root of 10. So then we multiply. So we're just going to erase this because we know what to do. So DL DT is equal to 3 times not 3. So it's going to be 180 times the square root of 10, over the square root of 10. So it's times by the square root of 10 on the bottom. Whatever you do to the numerator, you do the denominator, vice versa. So then DL DT is going to equal 180 over 10 times the square root of 10. 10. And this is going to equal 18 over the square root of 10, which equals, which is an approximation, which is approximately 56.92 miles per hour. Pretty simple. We use this triangle, use Pythagorean's theorem, differentiated Pythagorean's theorem, use that equation and solved for dl dt, and then we knew our variables. We knew s was 3, we knew we had to solve for dl dt. We knew what L was because we can solve for L using Pythagorean's theorem. And we knew what DSDT was because the car is changing at 60 miles per hour. When you plug that all in and solve for DLDT, or the distance between the farmhouse and the car is changing at 56.92 miles per hour. And that's just approximately, so it's not an exact answer.